Today we've got a double bill for you. I'm going to be checking out the latest offerings from the Viva Piñata series. So, Viva Piñata 2, Trouble in Paradise for 360, and Viva Piñata Pocket Paradise on the DS. So let's start with a little Xbox love. For those of you who haven't played it before, Viva Piñata is a sandbox game where you manage a garden hoping to make conditions favourable to attract wild piñatas, persuade them to become resident, and make them happy until they're ready to be sent off to parties around the world. It's cute as hell and a great one for the kids, but also has enough depth and interest to engage and addict adults as well. Trouble in Paradise is basically an upgrade of the original game. As a sandbox title, then the plot developments don't really have that much of an impact, but the refinements and new features certainly do make it a worthwhile purchase. As you might expect, new content includes 32 new piñatas and two new areas where you can go and capture piñatas from different climates and then recreate those conditions for them back in your garden. And while the garden itself hasn't increased in maximum size, you can now put more items in than you could before. And the food chain and various other infrastructure elements have been tweaked and improved so things run a bit more smoothly and you can focus on the fun stuff rather than issuing repetitive commands. Another really nice addition is the Piñata Vision feature, which we showed at length in our recent episode covering the London Press launch of the game. But the biggest improvements are the new game modes and the co-op features. There's now a Just for Fun mode, which gives you unlimited cash, full access to store items, removes the threat of bad, sour piñatas, and sets fewer conditions for attracting piñatas. This is great if you just want to jump in straight away without building everything up from the bottom, or if you're playing with younger children who might want something a little easier. The new tutorial mode, which runs inside the standard mode, is a really useful addition to newcomers and clearly explains the game's workings by setting you some basic objectives. And it's really nice to have a bit more structure initially before you go off and do your own thing. These new modes both help make the game very accessible, and the final mode, Contests, lets you get a bit more mileage out of the release with races and beauty patterns to participate in. The co-op options, which let you bring other people into your garden to help you, are great. You can have four players online and can set different permission levels if you don't want people mucking with your garden too much, but the best is two-player local co-op, as you really want to be able to talk about what you're doing and have that real-world interaction for a game like this, especially as on-screen you're just a disembodied cursor. Now, the local co-op has been upgraded from the last time out to a full drop-in, drop-out co-op. And now, rather than just being an extra pair of hands doing the same thing, there are extra options like magic available to incentivise teamwork. The improved co-op should be a real selling point to families, and all in all, this is a great outing for the Viva Piñata team. Four stars. And so, on to the DS version. And I have to say, I would have expected this to be vastly scaled down and was amazed at how much of the full game has been brought onto the portable platform. Yes, the garden is smaller, but the game is just as feature-rich and plays brilliantly on this new scale. There are even a few additions, such as romance suites, which let your piñatas jump straight to the good stuff to quicken the pace of things for gamers on the move. It also looks great with the lush and colourful piñata world translating well to the smaller screens. And you can see that care has been taken to keep what could have potentially resulted in clutter very streamlined and neat in this new format. The touchscreen controls are superb and intuitive and explained clearly with a few tutorial episodes, should you need them. As with the 360 games Just for Fun mode, there is a mode here called Playground, which cuts out a lot of the grind by giving you a randomly generated garden and unlimited cash. You can also send and receive piñatas to your friends, although sadly there are no multiplayer or garden viewing options available via Wi-Fi. So the DS version also gets four stars, and the only trouble is, now I don't know which garden to spend my time in. Thanks for watching. Hey. Hey.